Uh, Senator Paul, let me begin with a threshold question for you. Uh, this election was not stolen. Do you accept that fact? Well, what I would say is that the debate over whether or not there was fraud should occur. We never had any presentation in court where we actually looked at the evidence. Most of the cases were thrown out uh, for lack of standing, which is a procedural way of not actually hearing the question. There were several states in which the law was changed by the Secretary of State and not the state legislature. To me, those are clearly unconstitutional. And I think there's, a, there's still a chance that those actually do finally work their way up to the Supreme Court. Courts traditionally and historically don't like to hear election questions. But yes, were there people who voted twice? Were there dead people who voted? Were there illegal aliens who voted? Yes, and we should get to the bottom of it. I'll give you an example. In my state, when we had a Democrat Secretary of State, she refused, even under federal order, to purge the rolls of illegal voters. We got a Republican Secretary of State, and he purged the rolls. But, but Senator it Paul, make I have a to, difference, I, and those things I, I have, have to, to stop affirm. you there. there no, no, no election is perfect, but there, there were 86 challenges filed by President Trump and his allies in court. All were dismissed. Every state certified the results after investigations, counts, and recounts. The de Department of Justice, led by William Barr, said there's no widespread evidence of fraud. Can't you just say the words, this yeah. election was well, not what stolen? What I would suggest is... What I would suggest is that if we want greater confidence in our elections, and 75% of Republicans agree with me, is that we do need to look at inte election integrity, and we do need to see if we can uh, restore confidence in the elections. Well, 75% of Republicans agree with you because they were fed a big lie by President Trump and his supporters who say the election was stolen. Why can't you say well, I think where President you make, Biden I think, won I a think legitimate you make fair a mistake election? In, uh, hey, George, 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 where you make a mistake is that People coming from the liberal side like you, you immediately say everything's a lie instead of saying there are two sides to everything. Historically, what would happen is if I said that I thought there was fraud, you would interview someone else who said there wasn't. But now you insert yourself in the middle and say that the absolute well, fact is that everything I'm saying is a lie. Well, because, I Senator, I said what the president the said was a lie because to. he said, hold we're on a second. To. He said the election was stolen. This election was not stolen. This the results were certified in every you're single saying there was, state you're saying, after counts you're saying, and recounts. You're saying that absolutely it was, you're saying there was no fraud and it's all been investigated. That's just not true. So it's not what I said, sir. I said the Department of Justice found no evidence. Let me finish my point. You, say you said something that was you, not true. You say we're all liars. You're just simply saying we're all liars. And I said it was a lie that the election was stolen. The premise that you're right and we're wrong. Well, let, no, well, let's, let's talk about the specifics of it. In Wisconsin, tens of thousands of absentee votes had only the name on them and no address. Historically, those were thrown out this time. They weren't. They made special accommodations because they said, oh, it's a pandemic, and people forgot what their address was. So they changed the law after the fact. That is wrong. That's unconstitutional. And I plan on spending the next two years going around state to state and fixing these problems. And I won't be cowed by liberals in the media who say, there's no evidence here, and you're a liar if you talk about election fraud. No, let's have an open debate. It's a free country. It, there's there is no widespread evidence of election fraud that overturned the results. That was stated as well by the Department of Justice, led by President Trump's Attorney General. In Wisconsin, there were counts and recounts. Well, actually, it was the never studied. That, even that's certified. not true. Even that's not true. Even William that's Barr not said true. that directly. Barr said that, but there was. Yes, he said that, yes. That was a pronouncement. There has been no examination, thorough examination of all the states to see what problems we had and see if they could fix them. Now, let me say, to be clear, I voted to certify the state electors because I think it would be wrong for Congress to overturn that. But at the same time, I'm not willing just to sit here and say, oh, everybody on the Republican side is a liar and there is no fraud. No, there were lots of problems and there were secretaries of state who illegally changed the law and that needs to be fixed. And I'm going to work hard to fix it. And I won't be cowed by people saying, oh, you're a liar. That's the problem with the media today is they say all Republicans are liars and everything we say is a lie. There are two sides to every story. Interview somebody on the other side, but don't insert yourself into the story to say we're all liars because we there, there's some fraud there, in the election. There are, not, there, are not two, there are not two sides of the story. This has been looked at in every single state. The election oh, sure there are. certified there are in every single state. There are two sides to every state. story. George, 
You're forgetting who you are. You're forgetting who you are as a journalist. If you think there's only one side, you're inserting yourself into the story to say, I'm a liar because I want to look at election fraud and I want to look at secretaries of state who illegally change the voter laws without the permission of their state legislatures. That is incontrovertible. It happened. And you can't just sweep that under the rug and say, oh, nothing to see here. And everybody's a liar. And you're a fool if you bring this up. You're inserting yourself into the story. A journalist I'm, would hear both sides, and there are two sides of this story. I'm, sta I'm standing by facts. There are not two sides to facts. I did not say there, <laughs> that this was a perfect election. I said it was. the results were certified. I said it was not stolen. It is You're a lie to say that You're saying people are liars. You're stolen. saying people are liars if they want to investigate what happened in the election. Should That's we not investigate what I said. the fact that tens of thousands of absentee ballots did not have addresses on them and normally were disqualified, but this time they were counted? Should we examine that? I don't know whether it affected the election or not, but I have an open mind. And if we actually examine this, we find out it didn't, that's fine, but it still should be fixed. There, there's, there can be more investigations. The investigations that have taken place have shown there is not enough fraud to change the results of this election. That has been certified by every state. It was stated by the Justice Department and the Attorney General. And I accepted the state certifications, but it doesn't mean that I think that there wasn't fraud and that there weren't problems that have to be investigated, and it doesn't mean that the law wasn't broken. I believe in Pennsylvania they broke the law, and I believe if that ever would get a real hearing in the Supreme Court, it was denied for standing. It wasn't actually taken up. If it were taken up, I do believe that the Supreme Court would overrule and say that they did break the law illegally. I ask you a very simple question. Was the election stolen or not? I think there was a great deal of evidence of uh, fraud and changing of the election laws illegally, and I think a thorough investigation is warranted. Senator